about the, uh, the statement made by uh, Sri Lanka's uh, uh, Swarnavahini uh, television uh, network uh, newsreader, uh, Mrs. Uh, or Miss, I'm not sure, uh, one uh, lady, Tilini uh, Pereira, uh, she's the newsreader for Swarnavahini news uh, programs. Uh, she has mentioned yesterday uh, that uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksha's uh, media advice uh, currently Mr. Sudeva Hettiarachi, who was formerly from uh, Mrs. Tilini or uh, Ms. Tilini uh, Pereira's uh, Swarnavahini's uh, chief executive officer who joined uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksha's uh, presidential media division, PMD, as its an uh, advisor. So uh, Mrs. Tilini or Ms. Tilini Pereira in that case uh, says that uh, as an advisor to the media, Mr. Sudeva Hettiarachi, uh, he she advises him uh, to protect the respect um, and uh, and I don't know the other Sinhala word English meaning but uh, something like to respect and dignity of the president okay so the respect uh, and those uh, you know things uh, come uh, not from uh, you know by uh, you can't say media to uh, build it for the president it's once actions speak louder than the words Right? And if you look at today, for example, Mother Teresa from India and uh, former Prime Minister uh, Indira Gandhi, we speak always prominently about uh, Mother Teresa because her actions are more louder than her words because Mother Teresa, as we can recall, when Pope John Paul II visited uh, Calcutta slums, right, uh, she, Mother Teresa... Uh, work he Pope John Paul II saw and uh, he offered, uh, the Pope offered uh, his uh, uh, limousine uh, luxurious vehicle uh, as a gift to Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa took it, sold it, put the money in the bank and helped the poor people, children uh, and uh, uh, I think it's a good example for Sri Lankan women uh, who forget about the children and try to be like a uh, you know, uh, some extraordinary, uh, you know, thing using the backing of the men uh, and shouting and talking. But see the example of Mother Teresa. She took the money by, send, by getting that gift and using that money helped the poor people, the children and the women and the old people and everyone in Calcutta. So today we talk more about Mother Teresa and least and less about Indira Gandhi because... Um, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, uh, you know, is responsible for destroying our country by helping uh, Sri Lankan Tamil girls and boys uh, to military training in India. So that is the reason. So no media advisor, Mr. Sudeva Hittiarji, cannot build the respect for President Gotabia. President Gotabia's actions only would build that among the people, the trust, the honorability, the proudness of the people, the respect of the Sri Lankans for the President Gotabia comes through his actions only. Mr. Sudeva Hittiarachi can't do that through media. Uh, that, of course, Sri Lankan women don't understand because they think just by wearing a very tight blouse uh, to, uh, you know, pop up their chest and also by wearing very tight uh, saris, uh, you know, uh, like to be exploded on the TV news uh, with all the hairstyles and makeup. You know, that won't build respect or honor. Uh, respect and honor comes through one's action, deed only. Now, for another example, look at uh, uh, Mr. Sajit Premadasa, right? Uh, Mr. Sajit uh, Premadasa, uh, uh, even though, uh, you know, he, when he was studying at the London School of Economics, uh, he, he, you know, during the last few years of his degree, his father got assassinated and he had stopped the studies and had to come to Colombo and look after the family. And today he is the opposition leader, the youngest opposition leader in Sri Lanka. Because, because his humble actions helping the peer, poor people in Tissamaharam and everywhere, right? even though before he became the, uh, you know, the, uh, the percent, uh, opposition leader the position, he was helping people. So that's why the good actions speak louder than the words. Uh, it's not the media cannot build the reputation or the, uh, you know, uh, respect or the honorability or the proudness of the people uh, towards their leader. It's their uh, actions that 
speaks louder than the words. The good example is uh, Sajit Premadasa, uh, whose actions have spoken louder than the words today and be, who became the youngest ever opposition leader in Sri Lanka. Through his humble actions, no media ever, you know, tried to, uh, you know, promote him on, on the media. It is really the actions and one's intentions that speaks louder than the words. Uh, th this we can see clearly today. Uh, so, uh, there are so many examples, So, uh, but I have just mentioned several, um, you know, uh, examples uh, to prove that uh, the, the respect and the, uh, you know, the honorability uh, and the proudness of the people for their leader comes through the leader's own action uh, where the people get romantic ideas so close to the leader for such leaders. People romantically uh, fall in love with such leaders and do what they want if, if only the leaders do good actions with good intentions and uh, such good actions with good intentions speaks louder than the words and no media can do it, Mr. Sudeva Hittiarachi cannot do. It's just like putting up a makeup or a hairstyle, you know, and wearing a tight blouse and a, like exploding, a, you know, chest uh, on appearing on the TV, well, that cannot bring any respect to anyone, right? That is a good lesson that I think uh, the Sri Lankans must learn because uh, we can see the same theory applies to everybody. Hiruni uh, Kapremachandra uh, as well from Vishaka College, you know, her actions today have spoken louder than her words, you know, how much she shouted. 